All right, so get your felt. I just grabbed my felt, my scraps, my extra pieces, and I cut out my squares. For me, I did four by four inches, and then I'll show you how big my ball turns out. But some of them didn't come out all the way square. It's not gonna matter. It's a dog ball. But anyway, cut you a healthy chunk of them. I'm gonna use thread to put mine together, but you could use uh, fabric glue or all-purpose glue, depending on what kind of dog you have. If you've got a big old Rottweiler or something, German Shepherd that's gonna shred it, well, that's probably not gonna work. But the thread's probably not either, so you might need like some twine or something. But anyhow, let's get started. Okay, so it's pretty simple. We're going to take our square. You can either fold them like this, you know, fold it in half and in half this way. I'm going to do mine like this. And if you wanted to make it really cute, you could take some pinking shears and trim these little edges to make them jagged. I'm going to do it like this. So you can either take all your squares and do that and tack each one together. And then sew them together. I'm going to do a couple at a time. Like I said, I have a little dog. And Jeffrey is not the kind to destroy toys. He never has been. You know, a lot of dogs, even little ones, like to rip the toys apart to get out the little squeakers. Jeffrey, not so much. He just kind of grabs them and shakes them around, carries them around. But I do have a little puzzle, a food puzzle for him that I put treats in and he has to open little doors and move levers to get the treats. I'm trying to give him something new because he seems like he's bored lately, whining for no reason. So I'm going to uh, tack it a few good times, tie it up, and I'm going to go along and do this with my stack, which I'm not going to video doing all that. In fact, I'm going to sit down to watch my movie and do it. So I'm hoping this stack is enough but anyway, at the end, mine are four by four squares. I'll show you how big it is in my hand and how many squares I use. And then we'll check Jeffrey out with it and see if he likes it. All right, guys, I have been diligently working. I have gotten 13 of these two piece things. So that means I had 26 four inch squares. So now we're just going to put it all together and see how Jeffrey likes it. Okay, since I have 13, we're going to do six and we're going to do seven. So all I'm going to do right here where I have it already tacked is go along and tack and attach these together in a circle. And as I said, Jeffrey's not a chewer, a destroyer. So I don't have to worry about my, my thread being really strong. If your dog is a destroyer, you might want to get some really sturdy thread. Now, of course, I say that I'll probably give it to Jeffrey and he'll bust it. You know, they always got to make a liar out of you. But anyhow, uh, we're just going to string them on here. You string half on one string and then the other half on another string. And guys, this has been so easy and obviously it's not expensive. I might make some of these for my friends and my kids that have dogs for Christmas gift. Got plenty of time. I like to start early. Okay, so what we would do is just pull it around like this and attach it right here. But I've already done that with my first six. So you see they're in a circle like this. This time I'm going to put this in a circle going the other way and attach the two together. So you find an opening, split it open like that, your first circle. Here's a better way to show you. I'll lay my second circle down. It's not in a circle yet. And then I'll put this in the center of it. I hope this is making sense. And then we're just going to attach this side to the other side. I want to go down here and zip a quick stitch. Pull it snug. So now once you get it all connected together, you can, you know, adjust it a little bit. 
You also could cut your um, squares bigger to make a bigger ball, but you see how big this is. The size of my hand. For Jeffrey's little self, that's perfect. And then you just go tuck some little treats in there. You could put like some little, I'm just looking at what I have on this table, some random thing you put on the bottom of chairs. You could put some stuff like that in there just to give them something to, like, oops, that's nothing. Um, but I'm going to tuck a p couple pieces of dog food. Now you're supposed to tuck them down in there so they've got to, they got to sniff it out and try to find it. Let's see what Jeffrey thinks. All right, come here, Jeffrey. I got you a treat. Come here, baby. Jeffrey. Come here. Do you want the toy? Get it. Oh, you want my light? Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope it inspired you. I hope you want to try it. Uh, you can do them with like um, terry cloth. Uh, I can't think of the fleece. You know, something like that. The, I was thinking the um, felt because I just wanted to try one. And I had a bunch of felt from when I made those tiny tree skirts last year. So... Use whatever you have. Some old towels. You you have some old towels that you don't care about. Your dog's just going to play with it anyway. It's like Jeffrey. He likes to take his toys outside right when it's going to rain. So, use whatever you got. Check it out. Fairly easy. Alright, see you on the next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.